Now it's time to talk about another big exit, not Britain, but rather Republicans who are leaving the party because of Donald Trump. In the past two weeks, the following Republicans have endorsed Hillary Clinton, not all of them leaving the Republican Party, but leaving their party's nominee. That includes Bush's, Bush 43's Treasury Secretary, Hank Paulson, as well as Bush 43's Deputy Secretary of State, Richard Armitage, Bush 41's National Security Advisor, Brent Scowcroft, and the former Reagan administration official, Jim Sacconi, among a few others. George Will, the conservative columnist over the weekend, suggested he was leaving the Republican Party and not voting for Donald Trump. So there are a lot of handful, I should say, of elite defections. There are a lot more private ones. But when and if would you say that these kind of elite Republican defections away from Trump and in some cases away from the Republican Party will actually hurt his chances of winning? Well, I, I don't know the answer to that question. I find it hard to think that any of those people who we just mentioned, all of whom are familiar names to you and me, but no voter in America, virtually no voter knows who they are, including Hank Paulson. Um, it's going to matter to any of them. The, the thing that's relevant to me about it is that it's reflective of a thing that is actually going on in the rest of the Republican Party, which is that Trump is having it right now. He's getting about 75 percent of Republicans to be for him. When you look at these polls, national polls, battleground state polls, the Republican Party has not yet come home to Trump. And there's a lot of polling that suggests there are still a lot of dissatisfaction with Trump. These people are high profile representatives of that. And to the extent that they represent that, that's meaningful. Trump's chance of winning this general election have always been and are still based on the notion of a different kind of co coalition and one that says people who made Treasury Department decisions in the last 10 years, I people agree. who made national security decisions in the last 10 years, 20 years, they're wrong. If you like the way things are, vote with these guys. Right. And I think that, you know, would Trump want their endorsements? I, you know, he often will say, I don't even want their endorsements. I don't know that he wants these guys' endorsements. These are people right. who are establishmentarians who care about the status quo. But there are, as you know, there are establishmentarian voters who are basically the voter version of these people. And if Trump is... And can Trump and replace them with... He's got to replace them with... people. Somehow he's got to get... But he's got to, he's got to get over 75% of people who are self-identified Republicans. Yes, yeah, so that number... You can't win the, you can't, number, you can't win the presidency with number, 75%. That number has to grow, obviously. But the campaign, I think, is rightfully relatively confident. If they have a good running mate, if they have a good convention, if he has a good debate, he can bring the party back. Can he have a good convention if a lot of the most famous Republicans in the country don't show up? Might even help him. Okay.